Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a very, very interesting video to make right now, considering I just had a fantastic conversation with a fellow YouTube creator. This is why it's so important that we always keep an open mind. We talk to people with different ideas in this crypto landscape, and it's always a constant, constant learning experience. So many people get siloed, they get put in to their own box, and they don't you know, look outside of that. Don't do that. You're limiting yourself. You're limiting what you can hear and see and different ideas and opinions. And I heard one today from who I was live with, and I needed to make this video because after kind of letting the dust settle, I'm like, huh, wait a minute. I think what this person just told me is really, really true. And I think I've got to take this a lot serious, a lot more serious than I thought originally when I heard it. I've had about an hour to kind of let it, you know, uh, simmer a little bit. And I think there are certainly some big things that could be happening next in the cryptocurrency market. And when we talk about speculation, pretty much everything in crypto is speculation. You could say that Bitcoin's not so much. A lot of people just buy Bitcoin. It's a hedge against inflation. You can make that argument. I hear you. But basically everything else, it's about getting in at the right time and taking profits, having, having a profit taking plan in place whether it's Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin. Timing is everything. Having a plan, not being emotional with your investments, all of this factors in how much money you actually make in crypto. And one of the things we're trying to do is speculate and be right and get out ahead of something or at least be first, at least have a good window into, hey, this could be happening next because this just happened. So let's talk about Bitcoin in the context of all of this, and then we're gonna get into what cryptocurrency project might be a play for the next four to five months. And there's a reason why we're talking about that time frame in particular. So let's talk about what, ha what just happened with Bitcoin, okay? What just happened with Bitcoin? Well, if we go back to October, 2023, that's when we saw the speculation of a Bitcoin ETF really start to heat up the speculation of a Bitcoin ETF started to burst on the scene and we saw people coming in and piling money in in droves. We saw Bitcoin's price go from the mid-20,000 range all the way to 45,000. In the period of October, November, December, January, until the BTCF, uh, BTC ETF was launched. So we're talking about a four-month runway, essentially right? About a three to four month runway, essentially, for Bitcoin. And people speculated, they got in early. And we know that BlackRock was buying. We know the big institutions were piling money, piling money in. And we also know that people are going to speculate again. And what's going to be the next thing people are going to speculate on? There are a lot of things, right? But when we talk about this associated with risk, versus reward and what could be coming next. Shout out to Julian Crypto, who I was live with today. You could check out that live stream on my channel from our conversation today. Fantastic live stream. Really enjoyed it. Um, shout out to him. He's got some great ideas. Just it's, it's awesome to talk to different people in the space. But he basically said what he's speculating on next and asked me if I was kind of thinking in the same vein. He's basically looking at Ethereum as the next thing to speculate on. And if you guys remember what happened, what happened when Bitcoin ETFs were launched? Days after, hours after, hours and days after, what happened? It was interesting because Bitcoin stayed relatively flat. It was kind of a delayed reaction, a delayed pump a little bit. And what pumped 10, 11, 12%? Ethereum did. Julian was spot on with this. And we all were wondering why. What's going on here? What happened? Why? Why is Ethereum pumping? Instead of asking that question, we need to dive a little bit deeper. It could be the start of the next speculation period. It could be the asset to speculate on, Ethereum, over the next four or five months. That is, if you believe that Ethereum ETFs are next up. Now, it's a little bit more confusing in the United States for Ethereum ETFs to be approved than Bitcoin ETFs, right? And I talked about this on the live stream with Julian. Again, you can go back and listen to this. 
I thought it was just an overall well done uh, job by him. He put it all together. It was fantastic. But it's a little bit more difficult considering that Bitcoin in the United States is what? It's looked at already as a commodity, not a security. So getting the BTC ETFs done was kind of a foregone conclusion because even the SEC, who hates crypto, right? Even they wanted to get Bitcoin ETFs approved. With Ethereum, it's a little bit different because everything else has been up in the air in the United States. We don't know what the hell to think, right? If you want a crypto with the most legal clarity, you could actually make the argument that XRP, at least they've won a partial lawsuit. At least they've been in a real lawsuit with the SEC. Ethereum hasn't. Now, that could mean that Ethereum ETFs are going to be coming next. If I was a betting man, I still say Ethereum ETFs are probably going to come before XRP ETFs or anything else, right? But if you're taking a look at risk versus reward, even if you speculate on Ethereum at these price levels and we get some price dips, is it really the end of the day? No, because you could still be a long-term investor in Ethereum, regardless if the ETFs come in the next four to five months. But if they do... Now you can have a plan mapped out to say, hey, I'm going to take some profits off the table if we get a 100% type of move. If we go from 25000 to 5000 on the Bitcoin ETF hype. And that could happen. That could happen. Because there's one thing to know about crypto. Always expect the unexpected. And this fits perfectly with that narrative. As the Bitcoin halving comes along, everybody's diving into Bitcoin, talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum pumps out of its mind and it hits to all-time highs. That is not out of the realm of possibilities. And we saw a little bit of that with the Bitcoin ETFs being approved. We saw Ethereum pump harder, way harder than Bitcoin. So maybe Crypto Julian is onto something here. Maybe it's starting to look like we ought to be speculating on Ethereum now rather than later in hopes that an Ethereum ETF is soon going to come after the Bitcoin ETF like it played out in Canada. So I give you something to think about. That's the purpose of this channel. We're always trying to brainstorm, come up with different ideas, of course, cover the news when it's warranted, but hopefully this video finds you well. Let me know what, you th what you're thinking about this. Let me know your thoughts. Help me by pushing this video out, by smashing the like button. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. And I thought this was a really good thought-provoking idea brought up by Crypto Julian today. Had to make a video on it. And uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts and, and ideas in the comment section. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out all the links too. Uh, of course, we've got XT Algo. That is my trading indicator. Of course, don't forget to trade over on Margex using our link down there as well. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.